is complete madness. This is crazy. Samsung has done it again. Now, every year at CES, they come with a brand new monitor, and this year is no exception. Previous years, we had the G9 at 49 inches, and people were like, that's massive. And then last year, they came out with the Odyssey Arc, a 55-inch monitor. Well, this year, Samsung said, hold my beer. I'm gonna give you something new. This is the brand new Samsung Neo G9, 57 inch, 32 by nine, super ultra wide curved gaming monitor. This thing is truly impressive. It's the world's first UHD mini LED monitor, resolution 7680 by 2160. 8K of horizontal pixels. That's nuts. I mean, gaming on this would look quite impressive. It's a beautiful looking monitor. Aesthetics are what you expect from Samsung. I like the way it looks. I like the way it just displays on the table. It is absolutely massive. Now you've got a contrast ratio of a million to one and you've got HDR 1000 on this monitor. This is also a matte display, which means you're gonna get less reflections. And honestly, thank you Samsung for doing this. This is what I need on monitors anyway. And I absolutely, Love it. Now, this is also the first monitor that has the a DisplayPort 2.1, so next generation DisplayPort. I can't wait to see what it does. You also have a ton of other ports on this monitor. Plus, it has a refresh rate of 240 hertz. So not 120, not 175, 240. This is for the big boys, and this is the kind of monitor you definitely want to pick up. This is truly insane. So a big display is nice, and Samsung has done pretty much an awesome job with that 57 inch. But I have something that is even bigger for you. And that brings us to our sponsor of this video, Enreal. I'm talking about the Enreal Air AR glasses. These are fantastic and I absolutely love them. I've used them on the channel. I use them constantly whenever I fly because they enhance your viewing experience like no other. You put them on and you get a 210 inch AR display that gives you just a great viewing experience. And I love the fact that it also is really comfortable to use. So when I'm watching my Netflix shows or any of the other streaming services, it feels comfortable to wear for long periods of time. And I use them on every single flight. This is an essential travel tool for me. Plus, I've got the ability to connect to any of my gaming devices from PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, uh, or S, as well as also my Nintendo Switch to get a better and bigger gaming experience while I'm on the go. It is great, it is fantastic, and honestly, you guys should go ahead and check them out. So use the link back down below and uh, check out the Enreal Air. But wait, no, Samsung isn't done yet. They announced three other monitors that I'm really excited about. They announced two uh, QD OLED monitors being their first OLED monitors there. And you guys know I love QD OLED technology with the Alienware QD OLED monitor and my Samsung S95B. Truly impressive stuff. Uh, both, both monitors are 3.6 millimeters thin, a curve radius of uh, uh, 1800R, which is truly impressive. Uh, now, of course, you've got deeper blacks, great brightness, HDR 400 on this monitor as well. And in terms of response time, it's got super fast response time of 0.1 milliseconds with AMD FreeSync Premium, limited choppiness and all that craziness. So while you're gaming, it is fast and responsive. And look at the image quality. It looks so good. Now the monitor has a more minimalized design because of course it's thinner. So you've got a uh, mini display port, HDMI, USB Type-C, charging up to 65 watts. This also comes with Samsung's Game Hub, so which means you have access to Xbox Game Pass. You also have access to GeForce Now and other cloud streaming services like Luna and Stadia. Um, uh, so you can actually just game directly off the monitor and don't need to actually connect your device or even have your PC on. Now the 49 inch is the G95 SC with a resolution of 5120 by 1440 and refresh rate of 240 Hertz while the 34 inch, the Odyssey G8, has a resolution of 3440 by 1440, 21 by nine, and a refresh rate of 175 Hertz. Now, the final coup d'etat by Samsung is the Viewfinity 5K. This is a 5K monitor and first from Samsung. As we know, 
LG makes 5K monitors, Apple does. Samsung was like, look, we can do this too. And this is a premium looking monitor that is built for creatives, uh, graphic designers, photographers, content creators like myself, if you want to work and edit on it. The S9 is a 27 inch monitor resolution, 5120 by 2880. This also has a wide color gambit of DCI-P3 at 99%, uh, HDR 600, and uh, calibration is pretty cool and unique on this monitor. You can do that using your SmartThings app or your smart home phone to calibrate this monitor. You also have a HDMI port, display port, USB type C, also has a detachable 4K camera. If you of course have uh, conference calls to use the camera, uh, it has zoom features as well as also the fact that it's got built in speakers. This also comes with the Samsung smart TV platform. So you have access to all the streaming apps that you want. Let's see how this, this monitor does, but overall, which is your favorite monitor here? Is it the Neo G9, 57 inches? Is it the QD OLED monitors that look absolutely amazing? Or the Vfinity uh, 5K? Let me know your thoughts. This is Thunder E saying thank you. And also, you wanna pick up the Enreal Air? Use the links down below. Thank you very much, and check out more content from us here at CES 2023.